watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast here. And as you can see on the screen behind you, uh, you the Ukraine and the United States both are going to be doing observatory flights over uh, the Russian territory bordering with Ukraine. Now, this is according supposed to be in accordance with a, an agreement that was reached after the Cold War. Uh, the plane will not be armed. It is strictly an observatory uh, flight that will be conducted. They'll be conducting it for about five days from the 22nd of August, which is today, going all the way to the 27th of August there. They will be doing basically reconnaissance flights over the Russian territory on the edge of Ukraine. And I'm sure what's going on here is there's a lot of accusation going back and forth. Ukraine is saying that uh, Russia has built up a massive number of troops there ready to attack, uh, uh, to launch an invasion on Ukraine, when indeed it has been Ukraine that has launched 40 plus tanks there on the, on the uh, edge of Donetsk. Uh, and now we've even been noticing that in recent reports, after we have pressed the issue so hard about there being 40 tanks on the border of Donetsk, on the contact line there, ready for battle, showing the video footage of this, now the OSCE was brought in to see if they could uh, verify this information. They say they can't. Well, even back when we did the first news broadcast on July the 8th, we clearly had shown how that even in the article that we were getting the video from, the OSC was not permitted by Ukraine forces to go near the area where they had the tanks and the armored personnel carriers. And yet, continually, the citizens of the Donetsk region are being pounded by artillery, even up to 152 millimeter caliber uh, from the howitzers on the civilian population in East Ukraine. Now, Russia has made no bones about it. They have moved in also a lot of military hardware on the border there with South uh, Crimea there in, or excuse me, North Crimea in Southern Ukraine on the border there. There have been contact fights between the two already. Russian Federation and Ukraine forces, according to witnesses on the ground, I've actually seen some of the video footage there. So now we see that the United States and Ukraine, according to the China Europe news uh, source that you see on your screen and behind you, are actually going to be conducting surveillance flights overhead. Stay tuned later to Israeli News Live. As you already know, guys, from our broadcast yesterday, that it was breaking news here. Germany has been asked, the German people have been told to stock up on food and on cash for at least 10 days supply. And the other strange thing is, as one of you actually posted a comment, I believe in my wife's Facebook page here, that in Europe they're giving out uh, tablets on uh, for iodine tablets there. Now that's in case of a nuclear war. Today on CT24 News here in the Czech Republic, they're saying that they're they're having to they're they're going to form one big major military for the entire EU to fight terrorism. They've also said to the Czech people today, prepare for the worst. We'll be bringing more breaking news to you here on Israeli News Live later today. I'm Stephen Benoon. A quick take of our broadcast. Shalom. Aval the ain't shalom. We say peace, but right now there is no peace. Good evening.